Today, we're going to talk about meditating on scripture and how by doing that, we both lost weight and got to our goal weights. And we want to share with you how it's important for you as a believer to invite God into your weight loss journey as well. So welcome back. And today we're going to talk all about how the fruit of the spirit helped Casey and I lose the weight that we wanted to lose. Mm -hmm. In fact, I lost 85 pounds by, you know, implementing, inviting God into the journey after my first pregnancy and you lost 20 pounds. And now I'm in weight loss mode again after another pregnancy. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, the missing link to weight loss for us as believers is inviting God into the journey. In fact, we have to make that a priority. We hear so many women in our community because we coach all about weight loss, but we hear them say, I just haven't made it a priority. You know, I want to shed the pounds, but it hasn't been a priority. Mm -hmm. And they realize that they have never really invited God into the journey. Exactly. Because we know, you know, we have all these Christianese phrases that we claim, like with God, all things are possible. Or, you know, what are some of the other ones? Like faith of the size of a mustard seed. Like there's so many things that we say your body like a temple that's yes, a big one they're truths and we speak them but we don't believe them a lot of the time and we don't follow through on the action that is necessary to get there exactly so today we want to talk all about the fruits of the spirit and there's nine uh, <laughs> and how they are so incredibly applicable to our weight loss journey and before we dive in and talk about them you know i just want to tell you that if you are willing to invite god into the journey that God is going to do a work in you and through you through that weight loss journey if you continually surrender the whole thing to him. Amen. And we can't emphasize that enough because we believe that it is possible. Mm -hmm. And if you're a believer, you have said that multiple times before too. It is possible. We all <laughs> say that. That's one of those Christianese phrases. It is possible. But do we believe it? Exactly. And so the fruits of the spirit are so applicable to our weight loss journey and the Holy Spirit's going to be working in you and through you on all those fruits of the spirit. If you surrender the journey, if you're new to us. Thank you for being here. And we just ask that you like our video, maybe share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep doing these videos for you. Exactly. Because, you know, it's our heart and our mission to help Christian women reclaim their lives, reclaim their health. And ultimately to stop living defeated because many right. Christian women are living defeated by, you know, how much they weigh, by how they look. And that's the opposite of what we're being called to. So the first one is love. So what does that have to do with weight loss? Well, well, yeah, it actually has a lot to do with weight loss because you have to love yourself enough and realize that you are enough. You're, you have a lot of worth. It's not your weight that defines you. You have to love yourself enough to be able to treat your body well mm -hmm. and to honor and respect the body God gave you. And that means putting good things into your body. That's what we mean by loving yourself. Exactly. And it's about ditching that fad diet mentality from fad diet culture that so many of us have, where we're trying to punish our bodies into losing weight. And that's not what it's about. It's about honoring the body that God gave you and stewarding it well so that you can be the healthiest that you can be given, <laughs> you know, where God has placed you. And so loving ourselves and so many, um, you know, Christian women go, oh, but we're not supposed to love ourselves, but we are. It says in Matthew, love your neighbor as yourself. That means that you need to love yourself just as much as you love your neighbor, mm -hmm. not in a vain or conceited way. That's not what we're talking about. But loving yourself is about honoring the body that God gave you. So that's right. So that's the first fruit of the spirit. And it's so necessary. And you know what? We all talk about we need to love, right? Mm -hmm. So let's love ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think we could do like a whole video on each <laughs> Just, fruit of the spirit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but love is one of those ones where we have to learn how to love ourselves today exactly where we are, even if it's the heaviest that you've ever been. You have to learn how to love yourself today because a change in the scale is not going to make you learn to love yourself. That's, that's right. inner work that has to happen the weight loss is external work that often happens as a result of learning how to love ourselves today. And it all happens during the journey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the second fruit of the spirit is joy. Now, joy is a big one as well, because we have to find joy in this journey because it's a long journey. Mm -hmm. If you have 85 pounds to lose, 
How long did it take you? It took me about 15 months. Okay, 15 months. That's not a like quick fix. Yeah, nope, it really was not. So you needed to find joy all along the way so mm -hmm. that you could continue in your weight loss journey. Exactly. Because how many of us like, you know, put a comment below if you can relate to this. You're starting a new diet and you are just miserable. Like <laughs> nobody wants to be around you. You don't even want to be around yourself. You don't want to even be living the life you're living because you feel like that diet is like bleh, the end of the world. And nobody wants to live with you if you're miserable. Exactly. And that's the opposite of what we're called to do. We are called to find joy in all circumstance, circumstances. And so that means that we have to start switching our mindset. That means we have to start flipping it on its head <laughs> and going, you know what? God is asking me to have a joyful heart in this. And I get to choose to treat my body well. Amen. Well said. So joy is important because it's a long haul journey. Mm -hmm. Even if you have 10 pounds to lose, it might take you a while. Everyone loses at a different rate. And, you know, we're promised that we reap what we sow. And so you just got to be in it for the long term. Mm -hmm. And we reap what we sow at the proper time if That's we do right. not give up. So That's right. So find exactly joy. to what you said. <laughs> and the Bible says, count it all joy. Exactly. So let's find the joy. The third one is peace. And you know what? So many women who are working at losing weight are struggling, struggling, struggling with emotional eating. And I want to say that what's happening is that so often we are so busy stuffing our emotions down with food and we're using food for all of the things that we should be turning to God for that, you know what, we have to learn how to find peace amidst that chaos and surrender all things to God, because that's really what it is. When we're feeling so chaotic and emotional and we don't know how to process it, we need peace that passes all understanding. Also, when you start something new and you decide, hey, I'm going to be all in, I'm going to join the 10 day way down, we get this overwhelming feeling. That's what you're talking about yeah. with all the chaotic mess. Mm -hmm. We're busy. We're busy moms. We're busy grandmas. We're busy women. We're busy career people. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And in that chaos, we have to find the peace. Exactly. Otherwise, you're just going to keep eating your emotions. And again, that's about surrender. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. So the fourth fruit of the spirit is patience. It's love, joy, peace, patience. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I have to sing a little song in my head if I want to get through the fruits of the spirit. One that I learned growing up, the fruits of the spirit <laughs> are love, joy, peace. There you go. <laughs> and patience is a big one as well. Like they're all big, right? That's why we said we could do a whole video on each fruit of the spirit. But patience is something that we need in a weight loss journey. When's the last time you were maybe on a diet, maybe it was a fad diet, maybe you're just living a lifestyle that's clean, but you stepped on the scale and you went, ah, I didn't lose anything this week. Mm -hmm. You know, then you want to give up. And we're going to say, you can't give up. You have to have patience with yourself for the long haul. Yes. And you will reap what you sow. But like you said before, at the it's proper at time. the proper time. <laughs> if so you don't give up have to have patience exactly uh kindness is the next one and you know what this one it's as we tricky. were as we were going through the fruits of the spirit and going like how do these apply to our weight loss journey we often talk about maybe you've heard us talk about this before how you have two voices in your head you have a mean voice and a kind voice and when you choose to listen to the mean voice man that can bring you down in a spiral that fast and we are more accustomed to listening to the mean voice than we are to the kind voice. You know, that's that mean voice that says, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, you're not as good as her, you're, you're never, never going to look like that. You're never going to be able to do this. You may as well give up right now. Mm -hmm. You know, why are you even trying? Mm -hmm. We're really speaking words of hate and negativity over ourselves. And we need to flip that too and start listening to the kind voice. Because if we start claiming what the Bible says about who we are, holy smokes, that's going to you know, give us a little like head shake to go, whoa, okay, I am worthy. I am redeemed. I am loved. I am enough. I am all of these things. And so we have to start listening to the kind voice because that's going to help drive you forward in your weight loss journey. Because when you're just doing that negative talk, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, <laughs> it right. ain't going nowhere. <laughs> uh, that's right. Okay. So let's go on. The next fruit of the spirit, which is the sixth one is goodness. Now, Goodness in the weight loss journey, the way we are 
you know, bringing this out is to give your body the goodness that God has provided for us. Mm -hmm. Now, God created, like right in the beginning in Genesis, it says God created everything. He created the plants, the seeds, the trees, the fruit, the herbs. He created all of that goodness for us, for us to enjoy. It's his goodness to us. And, you know, way back in the garden, that's all they needed. Now, I'm not saying that you should never have other things like meat because we eat meat as well. But what I'm saying is that we need to incorporate the goodness of God's creation of God's garden into our lives, because that is what gives us the nutrients, the, the minerals, everything that we need that makes our body healthy. Mm -hmm. And so just like we are living beings, our body needs living things like the herbs, like the fruit from the trees. Those are all living organisms and they just do a beautiful work in our body. And that is the goodness of God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay. The next one, number seven is faithfulness. Now this one, we've got two separate aspects. Okay. The first one is, you know what? God's going to be faithful to you in this journey. If you surrender it, you know what, even Amen. if you don't, he's going to be faithful, <laughs> but right. he's but, always faithful. Exactly. But the faithfulness of God is applicable in your weight loss journey, but we often don't claim that as true. That's right. And the other aspect of faithfulness is that we have to be faithful. Like God will be faithful, but God is asking us to act, right? God is not saying I'm going to be faithful and poof, the weight's going to disappear. Like, nope. have you ever seen that happen? Nope. Not. <laughs> That's because God's asking us to act. And so we have to be faithful in honoring, you know what God is asking us to do. And so that's about treating our body like a temple, not a trash can. Well said. So that was number seven. So number eight is gentleness. And we love this one because, you know, we're talking about a long haul lifestyle. The way down lifestyle is what we're really talking about. Yeah. But we need to know that sometimes we're going to slip up. You know, that's just part of the journey. Mm -hmm. You've done it. I've done it. The thousands of women who we have helped have done it. We know that it's part of living a healthy lifestyle. Sometimes we slip up and we need to give ourselves grace. We need to be gentle, gentle. <laughs> with ourselves and forgive ourselves. That's where grace and forgiveness comes in. And so this is really crucial in a weight loss journey. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, you're gentle with probably your friends. If they, you know, mess things up and fall off the wagon, you'd be gentle and kind and give them grace. Yeah. So do it to yourself yeah, too. Absolutely. Yeah. And finally, the ninth fruit of the spirit. And this is probably the one that most people would go <laughs> like, yep, that's one for a weight loss journey. I need mean, that one is self-control. Yeah. That's a really big word and a big term and a big, big topic. We're not going to go into the depths of that right here, but what we're going to say is self-control is a fruit of the spirit that we need to work on. Mm -hmm. We need to work on this because it means we're not going to overindulge. We're not going to just mindlessly eat. Mm -hmm. And I often think self-control and discipline go hand in hand mm -hmm. and discipline has that negative connotation to so many of us, but discipline in this context is not punishment. We have to stop thinking about it like that. Self-control is not punishment. No. Sometimes having boundaries around what we do is exactly what we need to succeed. In fact, all the time, we need to have boundaries <laughs> right. around what we're doing in order to succeed. And, and in many areas of our life, not yes, just food. Exactly. And you know, that's really, we often talk about like the Bible is our blueprint for best living. It gives us boundaries, good boundaries to live within. And really that's what having self-control in your weight loss journey, in what you choose to eat is so important because then, you know, you know where the boundaries lie, you know how to make the next right decision. And if you don't have boundaries, it's a free for all. That's right. And I was just going to say in a weight loss journey, food is not a free for all. It's the opposite of that. We need self-control so that we don't overindulge. So that we actually eat less than we do for maintenance. So that takes a lot of self-control. Oh, does it ever. <laughs> so those are the nine fruits of the spirit. And, you know, I'm sure that we could go through them all and come up with a hundred ways that each of them apply to a weight loss journey, but they are so applicable to our weight loss journeys. And the more that we can learn how to meditate on what the Bible says, how to surrender our journey to God, then you know what? The better it's going to go. 
If you're still here watching and you'd like more information about what we do, we would love to invite you to check out our 10 day way down plan. Now, this is a plan that has helped thousands of women learn how to a invite God into the journey and b how to create a healthy lifestyle without having to eliminate food groups and, you know, have that deprivation punishment mindset. mindset. Yeah. And it's about all of these fruits of the spirit and incorporating them into what we choose to eat. So the link is going to be down below in the description. It's 10 daywaydowncom And we would just love to invite you to check it out. And you're going to learn how to practice all these fruits of the spirit, which is going to help you in your journey with God as well. Exactly. So, so thank you so much for being here. And until next time, make sure that you treat your body like a temple, not, not a trash, trash can. can.